Hamza Chimayo vs Gilbert Burns full fight breakdown analysis and highlights. So let's get this video started without wasting any time. With that being said, a ton of credit needs to go toward this talented Chechenian. He's been marketing himself in the most spectacular of ways and that holds true for both his Twitter game and his Octagon performances as well. Hamzat has capitalized on each and every single opportunity he has been given. And even when he was not a part of the conversation, he somehow found a way to steal a bit of the spotlight. He's been getting talked up by basically everyone. But there is still no concrete evidence that would prove that he really is as good as the hype surrounding him now let's get one thing straight chimayev is obviously a force to be reckoned with and one of the most frightening prospects in the entirety of the ufc heck just his wrestling match with jack hermanson is enough to get her blood pumping he has not however been tested and that's a fact that is easy to lose track of we do not care much for training room stories wins in the octagon are the only things that matters and are the ultimate if not only benchmark by which we should judge fighters and gauge their potential and while Hamzat's win were exceedingly dominant they did not come at the expense of the top tier prospects or title contenders but rather Fortune developers and severely flawed competitors. Still a way to go. Wins over John Phillips, Riz Mickey, Carol Mission, and Lee Jing Lian. Astonishingly dominant, too, they were definitely were, are by no means enough for us to board the hype train. Do we think he's special? Absolutely. But just how special he really is still remains to be seen. He's still a very young fighter when we simply do not know how well he can cope with being one of the UFC's biggest media. It is a prestigious position to be in, no doubt. But it carries a ton of pressure with it as well. Dana White went on the record and said that Hamza will need to win four more fights before challenging for the bill. That means he's still a year away at the very least from potentially clashing with Kamaru Usman. So we'll definitely see him get challenged by the biggest and baddest man in the world away TV. Then again, if he can dominate in his forthcoming opponent and in doing so make a tremendous statement he could end up facing the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman a whole lot sooner than expected. That's just the way things work and fortunately for Kamzat, it's not like there's any other promising contenders in his division other than say Leon Edwards. There's also a world of difference between the way Hamzad markets and asserts himself and what Leon's been doing and we and and miss if we did not say the most force would rather for Chimai of create blows with Usman records and accomplishments aside. Nobody wants to have fight comes out. I do not think Kamar Usman does. It's undeniable, it's scary and we're going to get a lot of answers when he fight Gilbert Burns. I have a good idea that's not going to go great for Gilbert Burns. The Hamza's training coming, I do not see anybody beating him, said Brandon Sikov during a recent episode of the podcast. I do not know how much Klamar Usman has, but I do not know who beats him. He has favored over everybody. That's what's scary, Sikov concluded. I am with Kamzad, who you are supporting today at the UFC 273. Comments down below. So that's what you get from the breakdown of the fight between Kamzad Chimai versus Gilbert Bonds. I hope you like it. If you like it, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. I will catch you guys in the new video with any new amazing content. So take care of yourself.